welcome back to Pilgrim Lanes for the second and final string in the Pro Series playoffs final match. Chris Bovair has an 18 pin lead coming into the coming into this string having recorded a 136 in the first string to Craig Holbrook's 118. So he's going to start off here and Craig being the top seed will finish the match. Chris punches out a half Worcester left on the first ball. He's taking out the 2-8. So Chris, as I mentioned, he took out Sean Morrison in the semifinal match in a very, very close match that went down to the last box. Actually went down to the last ball as uh, Sean Morrison had a chance to close it out but wasn't quite able to do it at the end. And Chris Bovair takes a nine box. He'll move over to lane three. Chris has got seven, eight leaves the 610 with it looks like there are I think there are a couple of pieces of wood up front looks like they should push back and take the 610 without too much trouble let's see if he can convert this not a problem so Chris Bovair has a spare uh, in the second string he's got 19 with a spare up Craig Holbrook steps up on lane four. Trailing again by 18, and he drops nine, which is a good way to start when you're trying to come from behind. He leaves just the 10 pin. Craig, as I mentioned, uh, he had a come from behind win over Mike Morgan, and there's a spare. Uh, in an earlier match, in the third round, Craig had a he bowled against John Zappi and and John Zappi threw 285 for two strings which was pretty uh, pretty impressive but Craig was was too much he had a, a 176 and a 127 for a 303 total Craig had a triple strike uh, toward the end of the first string when he had that 176 and uh, John Zappi tried to come back. He threw a 154 second game in that match, but Craig was able to hold him off. And meanwhile, Craig punches out the 189 on the spare and then works it out for a 10. Let's take a look at how he punched out that 189. As you can see, very full. And the ball sneaks in between the 2 and 5 while the head pin goes in between the 3 and 5. 189. So it's uh, 23 after 2 for Greg Holbrook. Chris Bovair with, wow, 5, 7, 10, no wood off a nice pocket hit. Anyway, it's a 7 on the spare, and that gives him a 21 pin lead after 2. But once again, uh, no good deed goes unpunished as he, he throws an awfully good ball and gets really tough results and he gives it a good try he gets the 5-7 and didn't get anything to come off the wall and get the 10 but uh, he gave it a gave it a good run so Chris will shoot at the 10 pin for his try and make a 10 box and it's gonna be a 9 so he has 35 after 3 stepping back up onto lane 3 And there is a six drop. He leaves the two, four, five, seven with no wood. Let's see what he can do with this one. And Chris just goes by the two pin, just takes out the five, so he's, he's uh, left with the two, four, seven. Very important to take out as many sticks as possible at every every pin. 
in a close match. And he's going to have another 9 box. So he will have 44 through 4. Craig Holbrook comes back up with 23 after 2. And he has a, a, a little bit kind of a... Well, a little bit of a splash on the head pin. Leaves a 4, 7, 10 with some wood that might... This is a difficult shot. He might be able to kick that wood over. Wow, and that was a great try. That's exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to kick that... catch the left end of that wood and send it over into the 10 while the ball took out the 4, 7. And he it, it just played it almost perfectly, but the wood didn't quite... They just went in front of the 10 pin instead of going into it. So it's a 10 box. And that cuts the lead by just one down to uh, it's a 20 pin lead for Chris Bobert and Craig with a nine drop in the fourth box he leaves a five pin very important single pin right here and he's got it so that cuts the lead to 19 minus whatever Craig gets on his fill ball when he comes back up Bogart fires in the fifth, and he's got a seven drop and leaves a five, six, ten with some wood that he might be able to use to uh, sweep. And that wood is just to the left of the five at an angle that looks pretty good if he can hit it down somewhere, maybe just north of the red line, pretty close to the red line, and just push it right across. But he goes a little bit too far left and just misses the wood altogether. So that's a uh, another miss that could prove costly later in the match. But let's see what he can do here about pinning. And he's got nine, so we'll we'll never know whether that wood would have swept it or not because he opted to uh, take the safe two with the six ten. So Chris Bover with a nine in the fifth box. Fifty three through five. And in the sixth, he has uh, kind of a light 1-3 pocket hit, but a lot of mixing on the left side, and he drops 9, leaving just a 10 pin. And this one's a really important spare. He's got to uh, get all over this 10 pin after having missed a couple of opportunities to mark. And he is all over that 10. So Craig Holbrook comes back up again in the fifth working on that spare in the fourth and he is trailing by 19 minus the fill uh, it's just five cutting it to a 14 pin lead he's got the four horsemen right plus the seven pin pretty tricky spare but certainly makeable Excellent try there, but he just came well, maybe a little bit too full on the head pin in the 1-3 pocket, and the head pin went behind the 7. And he also didn't quite carry the 10, so he's got... It's going to be a 9 box. That gives Craig Holbrook 57 through 5. And he still trails by 14. And now he's up against that spare in the 6, and Craig drops 5. That's not the best spare leave in the world. He's got the 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 with no wood. It's a pretty difficult spare. And certainly difficult when you miss the 3 pin, so he's still got the 3, 5. That's going to be 10 box. Craig doing a good job pinning. So Chris Bovair with 63 through 6 plus the fill ball on that spare. Chris drops six, or it's going to be seven. He leaves the one, seven, ten. So that gives him, once again, a 21-pin lead. He's got 70 to Craig Holbrook's 67 through six. And that's three pins plus the 18 he had coming in. Let's see what he can do with this one, seven, ten. High low jack. Wow, he had that head pin dancing all over the place. Went off the right side wall, then the left side wall, and it finally came up, came to rest against the 10 pin. Wasn't able to uh, to get either the 7 or the 10, but he certainly gave it a great try. And a 
it's gonna it's not gonna take either one that time so that's an eight box giving him 78 through seven Chris firing in the eighth frame nice ball in the one two pocket very close to a strike leaving the six pin no wood that's really in play there's a couple of pieces of wood to the left but I don't they're not going to have not going to help him at all because they're too far away so he's just going to have to hit the six pin that's all there is to it and he just goes by the six so that's a costly spare they're a, a good opportunity to uh to really put the screws to Craig Holbrook. But he's going to be open again in the eighth, and it's going to be a nine box. So uh, Chris Bovair with 87 through eight as Craig Holbrook steps up in the seventh frame on lane four. And there is a strike for Craig Holbrook. Very timely strike. Let's take another look at it. Uh, kind of high, a little bit on the high side of high flush in the one two, and he trips out the six pin off the wall. So he's already picked up two pins, cutting the lead to 19, and then he's going to cut into it further by whatever he puts on the strike. And he punches through the middle, leaving a spread eagle, and well, no, it's actually going to be the six pin also goes, but he's got a really, really tough lead. The two, three, four, seven, ten with no wood on the deck at all. Wow, what a great try by Craig. He gets everything but the three pin, and the, that uh, wood almost came back to get the three. So in any case, it's a nine fill on the strike, and he makes it a 10. So that reduces um, reduces Chris Bovair's lead to just nine pins, going down to the last two. Chris will try and have a put together a good finish here to force Craig to, uh, to do the same. And there's a good ball right there. Uh, eight drop in the three five. With a tricky piece of wood though, it's behind the three pin and it, it if that thing is frozen, he's taking a close look at it because if it's frozen on the three, he could hit the three pin and fail to get the five. That could happen regardless of which side he hits the three pin. So he might have to do something like go around it. I mean, actually miss the three pin and and have the the wood take out both pins. And that's what he did. Great shot. It's really an excellent shot there. Let's let's take a look at it on replay. Chris goes by the three to the left, and I think he probably wanted to do that. That's exactly the way he probably played that shot. And it's a spare in the ninth. Now he needs a good fill here to uh, to force Craig Holbrook to get two marks and of course if he can get a a good fill on another mark that would force Craig to throw a double in the last two and that's just four pins though uh, Chris just just barely missed the head pin but he took out the three five eight and ten that gives him one oh one through nine so that means that if he gets a reasonable out here Craig is going to have to get two marks at any rate, so it's part of the job done anyway. He got, uh, at least got the first mark, and now he just gets the nine pin. So he needs a, a pretty good out here in order to force Craig to, to get two marks. Let's see what he can do with this. He's got five pins remaining, four horsemen left plus the six. And great shot there. They, uh, they're... That's, that seven is going to go, so that's a ten box, and that's pretty important. That means that he's got 111 and 247 for, for two strings for Chris Bovair. So that means that Craig Holbrook, in his last two boxes, is going to need 33 pins to tie, 34 to win. Got to have two marks. Craig is an outstanding anchor bowler, as anyone who's bowled in the Sunday Pro League can tell you he's uh, many many times he's had big finishes in the last two and that's a good way to start with nine he's got the six pin all alone he's going to
gonna go right at it. And he's got it. So, Craig Holbrook did what he had to do in the ninth. Let's see if he can do, follow it up with another mark in the tenth. He's gonna have to. In order to win this Pro Series Playoffs Championship. And there is a, well, five, seven, nine. Not sure what happened to the audio, but anyhow, uh, Craig Holbrook got a, let's take a look at, at what happens here. You can see that he goes very high in the one, two pocket and the five pin, uh, that is a, a piece of wood rolls off the wall. I think it was a two pin. It rolls off and gets the five pushes it into the six and the six falls back towards the ten pin while it pushes that wood that was the five pin over into the three so he ends up with a very good break there and instead of having a five drop he's got nine and uh, just a seven pin of course it's, it's still a thin pin that he's got to hit but he goes right at it and he's got it so that means that he needs four to tie and five to win on the last ball it's uh, fitting that among the, that with these two outstanding bowlers, the, the great bowling they've had today, that it goes down to the last ball. Craig needs four to tie, five to win. And he misses the head pin, but he's got enough. He's got seven. So that gives Craig a 132. And Craig Holbrook is the winner of the Pro Series playoffs with a 250 to 247 win over Chris Bovair. You can see the scoreboard there showing the, the uh, scores Craig 118 and 132 against uh, Chris Bovair with 136 and 111 so Craig is the bowler of the year and also the playoff pro series playoff champion